is his career by attacking critic. Damn. This TikToker will regret this moment forever, as it will likely have serious implications for his career and his freedom. So the guy on the left here is the gym TikToker by the name of Big Mike Van Wick, and the guy he just jabbed in the neck is another gym influencer by the name of Jeff Nippert. Both of these guys have massive social media platforms, and over the last couple of days, they've been beefing online. Unfortunately for both of them, I guess, uh, they work out at the same gym, and what we just saw is the outcome of their online beef. So to Wait, so they work at the same they they work out at the same gym, but it's taken in this long before like an altercation happens? Wait, what? And of course they're both TikTokers. I'll give you guys some context. Clearly, both of them are gym influencers and bodybuilders. And uh -huh, in yeah. the gym influencer sphere, you have a non-stop back and forth on genetics, supplements, techniques, yep. isolating muscle groups, consistency, volume, junk volume, natty, unnatty, science-based, old school, and the list goes on and on with any other variables that can affect the end result of getting absolutely shredded. And you have- And, and, you get the people that sit here and, and downplay, like, whether you're natural or not, which is what he was saying, but, like, there's so many people that have this issue with you because you look unnatural, but it could, in the end, be natural. It's just weird. The, the gym influencer market is strange. I have so much back and forth because so many people are trying to become an authoritative figure to yeah. make money off of their influence. And they all want to be selling Hustler University uh, website deals, you know? Inherently, there's nothing wrong with that, but if it goes down like this, you can say that's not all positive. But this beef this started not with influencer. Mike, who physically This is not influencer behavior, okay? Attack Jeff, insinuating that Jeff is a scammer. We all know the science based guys. Any top for you, Juice. Tell me if you would describe their physique as excellent, average, or mediocre. And where would you put that in that? I guarantee you it's not an excellent. It's somewhere in the middle, right? Science guys really need to answer this question before anything. Why is it that you remain so mediocre, yet you know so much? Because if I knew a lot, of, I'd be very well versed and good at that topic, right? Like, say is this guy dumb? Uh, yeah, never mind. Don't answer that. We all know he's dumb. I was some financial wizard. I knew how to like read the stock market, and I'm like, I can see investments, and like, I can see what businesses are going to succeed. I'd be rich, right? People would be yeah, like, stay in your lane, bro. You're not cut out for it. Yeah, he's a genius because like look at him he applied it and it worked bodybuilding you can be like this big or this short in some cases maybe this short in other cases it's always short though no taller than bassett somehow you're an expert on muscle but you don't have any and if you do have any it's not that well put together and there's a lot of like holes in the physique and you've prided yourself on being strong little but i'm strong Bro, he does understand that you can definitely have strength and not look like it's but I, I, yeah i've already answered it he is dumb Fuck stronger than you, dude. It's like strong doesn't matter. You still are trying to squat six plates. I'm not squatting six plates. My legs are still bigger than yours. Sadly, you do need to apply what it is that you know for people to trust you. But they got these nerds or these dorks. They try and prove themselves in shows, and they come in like last. There's a lot of scammers, if you guys know, in like the day trading world. Anyone who's a day trader or a Bitcoin guy buying and selling Ethereum or whatever and all this. Like they're day traders sitting in front of things and they're like gonna guess the trends. Those guys are all bullshit artists, guys. He was gonna say he's sitting there in front of their screens, but he's doing the exact same thing, so I'm glad he caught himself. It would have been a hypocrite on top of being dumb. Run from them. Those guys are the guys I'm talking about in the fitness world. Okay, TLDR. Ooga booga big man say science man scammer because science man doesn't have physique like big man. Yeah. Right. So Jeff, the science man over here, fired back with a more thought out video. I don't know the science based guys. Science guys really need to answer this question before anything. Why is it that you remain so mediocre, yet you know so much? I know I don't need to respond to this, but since he asked, using science based training, I won natural bodybuilding nationals. I earned my pro card on the most competitive stage in the World Natural Bodybuilding Federation. I placed second in my first bodybuilding pro show. And while doing this, I set the Canadian record on the bench press and I set a provincial record on the squat. I currently weigh 180 pounds at five foot five inches tall, which is pretty close to my natural limit given my height and my genetics. That's all besides the point though, because facts are facts. Information is either right or wrong. It doesn't matter who that information is coming from. If the people with the best physiques had the most- yeah, It looks like he's crushing his ribs, man. 
most knowledge, why would Sebum need a coach? He has the best physique on the planet. Who could possibly know more than him? Well, it's pretty obvious that bodybuilding success comes from great genetics and really hard training. And if you want to make it in the IFBB, steroid use. I like science because it gives me more confidence in what actually works and what doesn't because it isolates variables. If you trust a big guy's advice over scientific studies, that doesn't bother me. I listen to what big guys have to say. Okay, that's a completely fair and reasonable yeah. response. He didn't really throw any unnecessary digs, maybe. He didn't take a jab at him once. He just said, uh, he just backs up his claims, right? Uh, he's just saying facts while the other guy's just spitting off the dome, like. Hinting that this guy. Nerd versus dumb, dude. Guy wasn't natural, but I wasn't familiar with either of these guys before this interaction, so I don't know if Mike is public about his same or not, if he's natty or if he's not. But if that video is really natty. what incited this action, yo, yo, what is your deal, man? Action. Damn. And the dude's just sitting there recording it? Bro, what's wrong with people today? Something's wrong. That looks a lot like roid rage behavior to me. I just don't see the point in crashing out over a literal harmless Instagram response video, especially when you threw the first digital punch to begin with. Because... Yeah, you were asking the questions and he's just giving you the answers, right? It's not the answers you want, but it's the answers. You can't just... Can't just roid rage over that. Bro. What? Ironically, he also threw the first physical one as well. But here, Jeff went on to Instagram to respond to this with a picture of him clearly at the hospital by saying, if you've seen the video by now, I want to clarify the incident. First, I want to give an update that I got a CT scan the other day and I'm okay. In case you didn't see it, this is exactly what happened and there was many witnesses. Mike Van Wick jabbed me in the throat twice in the middle of the gym and then shoved my cameraman. There is already a lie going around that Mike asked me to stay away from him and that I didn't listen and approached him first. This is false and Pure Muscle and Fitness has the security camera footage to prove it. I Damn. think they should release it. This is exactly what happened. I was filming bicep curls for a YouTube short. Mike brushed by me and said, sup, this is our first engagement that day. I chuckled. Mike then said, oh, things are about to get real funny as he walked past me. I then asked him, what do you mean by that? And I made sure my cameraman was filming in case he tried any funny business. Then he walked back towards me and said, turn that camera off and immediately jabbed me in the throat and I fell onto the floor. Pure Yo, the, uh, this dude, the, the guy that shoved him, not the person writing the post, okay? I just want to clarify, the person that jabbed him in the throat has, uh, he's just like riddled with insecurities, most likely. It's crazy. Hustle and Fitness allows filming, by the way. I stood back up and he told me to never talk about him ever again. Then he jabbed me in the throat for a second time, turned to my videographer and pushed him against the cable machine. And then he walked away. That's the full story. What a There's gym joke. security footage to prove it. It's up to the gym if they want to release it. As of now, Pure Muscle and Fitness is still allowing Mike to train clients at the gym. I also want to- no, that, That's an L gym. L gym, dude. How are they going to allow him to still train there after causing an altercation? Mike to train clients at the gym. I also want to say I really, really appreciate the outpouring support from the community and from other gym members. Uh, it's honestly course. making the situation a lot easier to deal with for me, so thank you all so much. I don't know why he attacked me other than he really, really, really hates my training style. I certainly gave him absolutely no reason to hate me, and if I did, there's no excuse to physically attack someone over a disagreement. My opinion right. is the resultant anger was brought on by the clip I posted yesterday responding to his question about science-based training. Pretty which he was just giving answers to. And like I said, the dude probably did not like the answers. So then don't ask the questions. Are you st I almost caught myself again. The dude is stupid. Welcome back, man. Pretty wild stuff. 
Yeah, over, I mean, this is just an insane reaction to some online beef. Sounds like a sensitive, tough guy with a lack of emotional control. Yeah, it's kind of funny insecure. that the top comment on Mike's original video is, lol, enjoy the prison workouts. That will also be interesting to see if anything like that happens, because who knows if charges will actually be pressed here or I'd if press lawsuits them. come out of this, because this all happened in Canada. They're a little bit more relaxed than the lawsuits over there is what they are down here in the US. And this is such a weird situation because you normally don't expect influencers at this size Nice to be crashing out physically. I don't know. I think a crash out is like everyone's susceptible to a crash out. Physically assaulting each other. You would think that would be a little bit beneath them, but I guess this channel. I mean, look, look at the the uh, uh, what's his name? Taylor, Tyler, 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 and um, the other haunted house dude. I can't think of it. To, I mean, think about that. That was kind of a crash out. It all really proves time and time again that not much is below certain influencers. They really do crash out over the dumbest things possible. Okay, so True. quick update. Mike has now officially been banned from that gym. But Thank God. as of recording this, there's no update on any criminal charges or lawsuits filed yet. But other than that, as many of you guys know, Matt City's doing an exclusive Halloween drop, which you guys only have yep, about yep. a week left to get before it's gone forever. So Pick if up you want to support the channel another way, you can go to matt.city down in the description down below. Check out the Halloween collection. We also just dropped a space collection with the moon and Mars bases. And we also just dropped Washington, D.C. with many more cities to come soon. So stay tuned for that. And I guess while this story was pretty insane, at least he's not facing life in prison like this kick streamer for doing this. Yeah, yeah, yeah moron. Yeah, unbelievable. Influencers are so uh, cringe. Cringe.